Warning, according to certain sources, this video could contain some of the following. Bad language, violence, explosions, tax fraud, and attempted assault. Viewer discretion is a virtue. Calm your tits or suck a fucking dick. We're going balls deep, bitch. Fuck you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. First and foremost, let me give you a little bit of a warning. I have been told that <laughs> that my videos actually give people anxiety. <laughs> so let me just apologize up front and give a little bit of a warning that this commentary is going to have some harsh words, some harsh language. So be warned. All right, a little bit of gameplay info for you guys. I'm on Black Ops 2. Like I said, I went back for ghosts like one game. <laughs> Y'all seen that video, but um, I actually call in a swarm maybe like the last minute, maybe the last 30 seconds. And good old Black Ops 2 theater mode didn't record all of it. So it cut off right at the last kill. I don't really know why. I just don't understand the concept if you record, you know, five and a half, six minutes that you can't get the last four seconds. But, hmm. It is what it is. So, anyways, I've been running with some friends. We'd been streaming one night, but the subject had come up as far as dick pics. Had I ever received any dick pics? Now, me personally, no. Now, I'm not saying that, damn, why me? But I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I never have. And I wanted to kind of go into a little story, a little incident that happened to me a couple of months back. But, you know, as a quote unquote girl gamer, I run into pervs all the time. Oh my God. Whether it's on Xbox or whether it's on Twitter, what have you. It happens all the time, you know? And with me, whenever I form like a bond or form, you know, a so-called relationship with somebody on Twitter and I find you cool and like, you know, we're playing or we're kicking it or, you know, what have you. Like once you cross that line, it's kind of weird for me. It's really awkward. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, but this took place a couple of months, uh, a couple of months back where this guy had just sent me really bad, just vulgar, <laughs> sexual, provocative messages. And he just kept sending them, kept sending them, kept sending them. Well, I'd known him for a couple of months, and we were pretty cool. You know, so I don't know why all of a sudden he just decided to switch like that, but what have you. But anyways, he was telling me things like, you know, he wanted to come inside me. He wanted me to have his children. You know, he wanted to just lick me here and there. And oh my God, just the things that this man could come up with. So anyways, but like I said, once you cross that line with me, like it just gets really awkward. Like what the fuck am I supposed to say? Like, okay, you know, but I thought we were cool. I kind of thought we had this, you know, little bond playing together and you know, as far as Xbox, <laughs> let me, let me straighten that up. But, you know, I thought we had this little cool bond or whatever, you know, and it just ended up turning into this awkward situation. Well, he kept, you know, DMing me and kept tweeting me like, Hey, have you read my, you know, have you read my messages? And I'm like, dude, what the fuck do you want me to say? You know, but anyways, a couple of weeks had passed and I was like, what the hell? Where'd this dude go? He's sending me all these things, you know, all these messages that, of things that he wants to do to me. And now all of a sudden, I don't hear from him, you know? And I knew without a shadow of a doubt, I'm not dumb, you know? He's be sending these messages to probably a lot of other ladies. So, but I was like, where'd this dude go? Anyways, make a long story short, <laughs> a couple of weeks later, he actually comes back to Twitter, you know? And I was like, okay, maybe he's been on vacation. Like, what the hell? But he comes back and he has all of these videos about how much he loves his wife, how much he loves his kids. He changed his profile pic. He changed his bio. And I'm like, what the hell? Like you go from wanting to come inside me and lick me up and down like a lollipop to now I love my wife. I love my kids, you know? And I was like, what the hell? Well, anyways, one of my friends ended up, you know, tweeting me or, you know, DMing me telling me that his wife had found out obviously you know it wasn't just me but his wife had found out and she made him do all of these apology videos she made him do you know all these apology tweets and it was just funny because you know like he goes from all of this messages to this message and you know and all these videos and these messages and stuff and anyway she made him come out with a full-blown apology you know not only to the ladies but also you know to her and that if he wanted to keep his marriage and keep his family he had to come out and he had to apologize not only to the girls that he offended but also to her you know so this man was like a, a grown man like an older man and like 
he was probably in his late 30s, early 40s, and him to come out doing that, you know, like, come on. But he had been married for I don't know how many years. He had four kids, and it's just like, dude, really? You know, but it's just a kind of a story as far as I run into people like this all the time. And it's amazing how guys get on here, and they sometimes treat this like a, like a damn dating service or something, you know? I get on here to play, to have fun. Of course, I meet great people, but it's not like I'm getting on here to looking for something. And sometimes you run across men who are just, who are actually looking for some form of relationship, and they really do treat this as a damn dating service. It's just, it's crazy. So, anyways, after a couple of his videos, a couple of his tweets and stuff, the guy just completely disappeared, so... I don't know what happened. As far as I know, she might have killed his ass. So, But I just wanted to let y'all know. I just wanted to give you kind of my whole little experience with pervs. That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.